If it is, thank you, but I totally- Oh! <laughs> wow! Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Neil and welcome back to Beam and G Drive. There's been a pretty cool selection of mods this week. Uh, starting with that GT350R, that Mustang, that was an amazing mod, but we're gonna switch teams, at least for today, because, uh, specifically on my Discord, I've been getting a lot of requests to check out this Dodge Ram 1500. Well, it's actually not called the Dodge Ram 1500, it's called the Gavril, uh, D-Series, because, you know, copyright issues, but... It's a, it's a Dodge Ram 1500. Anyway, uh, if you guys want to join my Discord and um, suggest stuff for me to play on the channel, that's probably the best way you can do it is on my Discord because I, I check it every day to see what you guys want to see. So, if you haven't joined it already, go down below and click that link and it should send you straight to it. So, with that out of the way, let's go to our car selector. And uh, yeah, this, so this, <laughs> this Dodge 1500 is supposed to be like the new version of the D series, because you know the D series we have is like a 19, what, what year is this? I don't know, it's like a 1988, yeah, it's like a 94 D series, kind of old. So I guess uh, the Dodge 1500 is gonna is supposed to be what the uh, D series would look like if it were newer, but it's just straight up a Dodge 1500. I mean, there, there's no if, ands, or but about it, but we do get a few options here. We have the Runner Edition, the Camper Edition, the Police Edition, so, you know your boy's gonna have to do some police chases later this week with this thing. We have an adrift edition of a <laughs> truck, which sounds a little bit interesting. Then the stock one, then the sheriff edition. So if you want a, a white one instead of a black one, we got the tradesman. I guess that's just the workforce one. Then we have a derby edition because, you know, obviously we need a demolition derby edition. And then we have the limited, which is like the fancy edition. And then the beast, which I imagine is, you know, the beast. The beastliest one. So, we're just gonna start off, I don't know, I'm gonna start off the runner one just because I like the way it looks. I like the off-road tires. I think it looks neat. So we're gonna start off with this one. And uh, you guys are gonna see that uh, it is still pretty early in development. It's a little rough around the edges, but I think it is looking really freaking good. Don't roll away from me, man. So yeah, here it is, the Gavril D series, <clears throat> or Dodge 1500. So, very iconic truck, so I don't know, but it does have the Gavril badge on there. So it's not a Dodge, but it is, but it isn't. Anyway, it's a very nice model. Uh, the inside is looking pretty good too. Looks a little vintage though. Looks more like the regular D series. You would think you would expect like a nav system, Bluetooth, speakers, I don't know, the, the works, but we don't really get that. And the, this is looking a little bit JPEGed. But for the most part, it looks pretty awesome. I am, I'm happy with it so far. So, in this episode, we are just going to crash test this thing. This this honestly might be a two-parter because, I don't know, there's a lot you can do with this thing. So, first off, we're going to, I don't know where I am. I'm just on the insane testing arena. It's like this giant hill with a bunch of, <laughs> with a bunch of uh, humps in the road. So, this is probably going to make us crash quite a bit, but that's kind of what I'm going for here. That's kind of the whole point of my channel. Honestly, why are you here if you're not here for the car crashes? Is it for me? If it is, thank you, but I totally- Oh! <laughs> wow! We just straight up decapitated, decapitated ourselves. We decapitated our car so hard that I couldn't even speak. Oh, man. So, yeah, this is, uh... This is not a truck anymore. I don't know what this is. The engine is just straight up hanging out the front of the car, though. So that's probably not a good sign. I mean, usually when you're driving a car, if the engine just falls out of the front of the car, that's usually not a good sign. But I'm going to see if this thing is still running when we get to the bottom here. There's already parts all the way down here, man. Oh, no, we're on fire, too! Please tell me it still runs. It doesn't run. I don't know. I don't know why I thought it would run. But it is definitely not running. Good God. We completely annihilated this thing. Anyway, as I was saying... Do you guys come here for me, or do you guys come here because I wreck a lot of cars on BMG Drive? I won't be offended if you say that you just come here for the car crashes, because honestly, I would too. But let me know down below in the comments. That's the question of the day. Do you actually like Neil, or do you just like his, uh, his car crashing abilities? That's totally fine. You're not going to offend me. But while you're down there, why don't you go ahead and hit that like button, because even if you don't like me specifically, if you like my videos, it really helps me out when you like 
the videos. Oh man, this thing, I'm noticing this thing likes to catch on fire. Is that, is that true to life? I've never, div I've never driven a Dodge truck before. I don't know if they just spontaneously burst into flames or not. Didn't Spears the Amazing used to have one of these? I think it was like a red one though. So you know what? Just for my buddy Spears, we're gonna wreck his old car. Cause I know he doesn't have any more. I know he has like a, an SRT Jeep now, but he used to have a uh, Dodge truck. So we're just gonna take this one right here. I think this is pretty close to what he had. Er he might have had the sport. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know all my Spears lore, but we're gonna take this thing and just wreck it. Just for him, baby. All righty, here we go. Are you ready? Let's do this. I'm gonna actually try to make it to the bottom this time. So I gotta not hit these because they just oh, flip you over right quick. Oh no, this has not gone well. Ah, uh, maybe. These are the ones that get you. Uh, uh, uh oh, uh oh, oh no. We're heading straight for the red ball. Straight for it. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> well, I hope I hope my buddy Spears wasn't in there. That would uh, that'd be unfortunate. Oh man, we have we have we have pancakeified this truck that is for sure all the pieces are still there though we are getting a little bit of artifacting there uh, or as I like to call it uh, bootleg modding there but it, this is not a bootleg mod it's actually very well made and I'm excited to see how it's gonna end up when it is actually finished I believe it's still pretty early in development so there's always room for this thing to improve and when it does you can bet your sweet bottom that I'm gonna be there to make another video oh yeah this is uh this is complete carnage. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that is uh, a wreck and a half, my guy. All right, so let's get this out of the ground. Let's actually do some proper crash testing since we do have it at our disposal. So we're going to go all the way over here to the car crash, I don't know, hall, I guess. The, t the crash testing arena. That's what I, I, Yeah, that's what I'm going to call it. So we're going to go right here, spot it up, and we're going to hit this wall at 60 miles an hour. If this thing can even get to 60. Come on, there you go. Yeah, you're no slouch. All right, so I got a burp. burp, burp, burp. Ugh, excuse me. All right, sixty. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. The entire front is smushed, but that's actually pretty good. The front steering wheel went up, which is what you want, so you don't decapitate yourself. Actually, I don't know. You'd probably hit your face right on that. But again, there's no. There's no, uh, there's no airbag, so we can't really tell. But I, I want to say it held up pretty well. Would you feel safe crashing this into a wall at 60 miles an hour? Well, honestly, I wouldn't feel safe crashing any car into a wall at 60 miles an hour. But, I mean, this is a newer car, so I would probably feel safe for doing it in this. But that's just me. Anyway, let's try something. I like how it just comes out of the ground like that. Let's try a different version here. Uh, I kind of want to try the off-road version to see if it actually has, if it has the stuff to make it in the off-road world. So we're gonna select, what, do we have an off-road version? I guess the, the runner is probably gonna be the closest we have to that, I want, I guess. I don't know, or, or the beast. I'm not sure what the difference is. I mean, this one's just bigger, I guess. It has like the, the hat. What are those called, bonnet? No, cover, no. I don't know, no, I feel stupid, no! Okay, it's a, I, I, I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna spawn the runner edition and go off-roading. That's what I'm trying to say here. Alrighty, so where are some good off-road trails? There's one. Right, let's try this out. This thing feels very, very heavy, and I love it. So let's go up the hill. Is there any mud? Oh, yeah, rocks. No problem. It looked like I almost popped a tire there, but I didn't. That's what's important here. Yes, this is a big freaking hog of a truck. That is for sure, but can it make it over the sheer rock cliff? Ow! Can it <laughs> There's rocks in there. Can it make o make it over the rock hill here? Oh man, we're having trouble right here. Oh, that front bumper is just shredded, man. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. Oh no, not here, not like this. Okay, let's back it up. I think we need a little bit more speed here. Oh geez. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This is uh, this is this is, this is disappointing. My disappointment is immeasurable, and my day is ruined. All right, I'll give you a fighting chance here. Dodge. All right, here we go. Yes, yes, nice. Nice, absolutely annihilated that hill. Not sure why the little pond gave us trouble, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Here we go, no harm, no foul. Nice, for such a big vehicle, it's actually navigating these obstacles pretty easily. 
Again, not sure why that that one obstacle hurt us so bad. Oh, and we lost traction. <laughs> oh, I need more power. Come on, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Nope, it's not happening. It's not happening. But what about ice? How would how would this how would this thing fare against ice? I know we have a little ice hill around here somewhere. There it is. All right, let's try this. Let's try this against the, the Dodge Ram against the ice. I actually don't know what's going to happen here. How much traction does this thing have? Let's find out. All right, so here we go. So far, so good. So far, don't go sideways, my guy. There we go. Come on, keep it going. Keep it going. Nice. I think that's as far as we're going to get. Yep. Uh, keep pushing. Nope, that's that's it. Okay, it's tapping out. All right. All right. Well, it's still, I mean, it's still pretty good. I like, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of this mod. I don't know if I would get this truck in real life, but I, I like driving it in Beam&G just because it feels different. It feels like a D-Series, only newer, which I know that's literally the point of this mod, but still, you, you know what I mean. I kind of want to try the Drift Edition because that just sounds silly, but watch it be the best drifting car in the game. I'm calling it now. Alrighty, so interesting uh, color choice, but I'm not going to complain. Just a deep purple, a Thanos purple. I, I like it. All right, so here we go. Nice. Can we drift it? Actually, let's switch. Uh, let's switch gearbox mode. There we go. I can't be. I can't be uh, bothered to to shift the gears myself. I'm sorry. I know a lot. I know some elitists out there. Like, uh, like actual shifting in their racing games, but I just don't have time for that. Maybe I will one day, but not now. Okay. Okay, yeah, it, it's a drifter. Let's see if we can, uh, let's see if we can do a, uh, a donut. That's the only, that's the only kind of drifting I'm, I'm good at is doing donuts, if we're being completely honest here. There we go. Yeah, it can do donuts. Not, they're not perfect donuts, but they're pretty good donuts. There we go. I think I need a little bit more speed here. So how about we do this? No, keep going a little faster, my guy. There you go. There you go. Now we can drift. Now we can drift with confidence. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anybody ever seen a uh, a Dodge 1500 Drifter Edition? I don't think that that's one thing I think I have not seen before. But I'm not complaining. No, 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 no. Whoops. We crashed into the stairway to hell but while we're here why don't we hit, go ahead and go to the top and uh just send it honestly so I, I i think i need to do this in every video so we're gonna spawn that right here and we're gonna spawn up the beast the quote-unquote toughest edition of this truck to see if it can uh come out in one piece on the other end so we're gonna spawn this up right there and uh yeah i want to send it down the stairway to hell all right, here we go again. A very weird color choice. Not sure if I would have gone with that, but uh, here we go anyway. Yes, hold it together, Dodge. There we go. Nice, nice. Oh, nice. Okay, it's uh, it's falling apart pretty hard. Oh wow, I actually like the crash model. It actually is pretty well done. Not quite up to a dev quality, but still pretty freaking good. And uh, are we still running here? Can we start the engine? No, we cannot. But it's, uh, you can still kind of tell it's a truck. I guess, kind of. Let's get a better angle here. So let's go like this. And let's go all the way down. And uh, should we get a better uh, camera field of view? Yeah, I think we will. So we're going to go to Torque Script, set field of view to 30. Actually, no, 20. 20 is, is the sweet spot for me. There we go. That's looking better. And I'm paused. And here she comes. Oh, no. <laughs> Rapidly down the hill. Oh, there's a tire flying everywhere. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, my God. That thing is moving. Holy crap. Hello. How you doing, buddy? You're not looking so good. Oh, man. That thing is uh, officially wrecked. So... There's only one more thing to do. Honestly, I think you guys know what it is. Of course, we need to throw this thing off the car jump arena. All right, so here we are. Now, I think the runner edition is probably the best candidate for this because it has the speed and it has the suspension power. So this is the one we're going to go with here. Now, how fast can we get before the end of this ramp? 
I'm not actually sure. 140. Oh, we are moving. 150, 60, 100 and s almost 170 miles an hour. And it goes straight as a freaking air. Oh, no, maybe not. Uh oh. Oh, <laughs> no. The back end hits first. But are we going to land on our tires? Yes, we are. Barely. You can get a peek at the engine there. Look at that. That's looking juicy. Actually, not really. But still. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. I kind of want to do that again because I didn't actually see how far we went. I need to start like a roster of which car can go the farthest. I mean, I know I have videos on it, but I've never really actually taken the time to write all that stuff down and keep like a detailed chart of it. Maybe I should do that. Should I do that? Let me know down below. Anyway, here we go. Yes. All right, 200, 300, 430, I believe, around that. Not bad, honestly, for a truck. I gotta say, that is pretty good. And as a whole, this mod is pretty good. So if this looks like something that would interest you, I will leave a link to this mod in the description below. Go ahead and show the developer some love. He put a lot of time into this, and it really does show. And I'm excited to see what comes of it in the future. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you know whenever I upload. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Oh, and join my Discord. Yeah, I forgot that one. Anyway, see ya.